Hi guys, it's Hugo from Positive Psychology Program and I'm here with another toolkit update. In this month edition we have a lot of new tools, five brand new tools, and the first two tools are in mindset. You know, the principle that was introduced by um, Carol Dweck and the idea is that people have, some people have a very fixed belief about character and intelligence, whereas other people have a strong belief that you can develop, you know, and that intelligence is not something that is fixed, but that you can learn and develop. And the type of mindset that people have has an enormous impact, of course, in the choices they make, the beliefs they have about themselves in the future. And there are two tools included here. One tool is to actually measure the kind of mindset that people have and also to adjust it. And the second one is, uh, is, is basically questionnaire. It's also a way to measure the type of mindset that people have. Then we have two tools about food. Uh, one tool is about eating mindfully. Uh, of course, there is the classic raisin exercise, but this tool that we developed is on eating chocolate. It's about enjoying food. So uh, it's a very nice tool that is, I think, very applicable not only in the, in the field of mindfulness, but also in the field of, of healthy eating. Um, and then there is a tool on uh, distinguishing physical from emotional eating. Um, and again, a lot of mindfulness is involved here. What we see in the literature is that some people eat not because they're hungry, but because they you know, eat because they want to cope in a certain way with emotions. And emotional eating is linked to uh, eating pathology and so on. And it's very important, of course, to become aware when we're eating out of emotions rather than hunger um, and how to deal with this. And this tool is, I think, a very nice uh, way to help people eat more healthy and not because of emotions, but more in terms of, of hunger. Um, and then finally, we have a tool on the inner critic. And the inner critic is something that has been linked to self-compassion. You know, a lack of self-compassion is often characterized by, the, by a very strong inner critic. And um, when you read about the self-compassion literature, you may, may think that the inner critic is wrong. You know, we should banish him or uh, whatever, but in, in fact, it has a function, and it's, it's, it's trying to get rid of the inner critic is, is a very unhelpful thing to do. So, this tool is about befriending the inner critic. So, cultivating a more positive relationship with him or her, whatever you want to call the inner critic, uh, rather than just trying to avoid it or punish it or whatever you want, want to do with it. So, this is also a very nice tool for people who want to, you know generate a healthy sense of self-compassion. We hope you enjoy these tools. If there's anything you need, just let us know at the dedicated section of the website. So take care and until uh, next time, bye.